Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are following my channel, in the last two videos, we discussed how we can use open source LLMs as coding assistants. In case you haven't, you can simply click here to see them. In part 1, we used the MacBook Air to run them locally. In part 2, we used Tabby to run the AI coding assistant locally on a Windows machine. And now in this video, we will use Olama to do the same thing on Windows. So I will call this part 2.5. Subsequently, I'll also create a video on Linux to conclude this series with the third and final part. Now, Olama is not officially supported on Windows. However, I was able to run it using Docker. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. Let's start with opening the GitHub page for Llama Coder. And as you can see, first we need to install Olama. Let me open this and if you scroll down to the Olama AI page, you will see available for Mac OS and Linux windows coming soon. However, if you go to its GitHub page, here you can see there is a Olama Docker image that could be used. Now, since I have Docker installed, let me start my Docker desktop. And here you can see I have no images, no containers, nothing. So let's try to install Olama via Docker. So let's open the Olama Docker image page. And Running Olama is quite simple. This is for CPU, this is for GPU, and here we can clearly see that we need to set up uh, NVIDIA drivers in order for Llama to use the NVIDIA GPUs. So I will stick with running the CPU version only first. So let's try this. First, let me open PowerShell. You can also use terminal if you have it configured and this is my powershell window now let me see if docker is available if i run the command docker you can see it gives me an output which means docker is available i hope this is visible to everyone let me try to make it a bit bigger Hopefully this is visible to everyone and now we'll try to run this and you can see it's actually downloading the Olama image a few moments later and now we have Olama downloaded Let's check the documentation and this is what's there. Let's check if we have an image and yeah, we have Olama running. So let's install Llama Coder on Visual Studio. Let me go back to the GitHub page and here's the plugin. Let me open Visual Studio Code, go to extensions and type Llama. Order. Oh, and here it is. And it's installed. Let me open a new file. And I have a temp.py. And you can see we have Llama Coder here. Let's quickly check the settings. And you can see it's using Deep Sea Coder. Temperature 0.2. Let me change it to Code Llama 7B. Well, let's check what is the recommended one because we are using the CPU version. So, okay, Q4KM should give us a good performance. Uh, so, let's choose that one 7B Q4KM. So, 
uh, set it up. Let's go back. And as soon as I start typing, you could see a pop-up model code Llama 7B code for Q4KM is not downloaded. Do you want to download it? Uh, so then I'll just simply say yes. And you can see here it's actually trying to download it. So let's wait for it to be finished. A few moments later. And now it's downloaded. So let's try and run some code. So uh, let me add create a function to add three numbers or four numbers and you can see llama coder is running i don't see anything yet let me add add for for integers And I could, you could see a uh, llama coder is running, but we don't see any output yet. And my CPU is uh, going crazy and really hot and yeah. Now you can see it completed. It's pretty slow because we are running on CPU. So let me press tab and it's completely garbage it's just adding random code so not the best but hey this is how you could use a uh, code llama and this is completely garbage i think it's because of the uh, lm model that we are using uh, and it makes no sense whatsoever but we were able to run uh, Olama on a Windows system, which basically is not supported. Now, if you go back to the Olama Docker page, you can run the Olama image using the GPU if you configure these things and install NVIDIA Container Toolkit. However, the process is pretty lengthy. Uh, I think there should be a way to run it via WSL but it requires too much effort and I would not recommend it. I would recommend you guys to rather use Tabby instead of Llama Coder as mentioned earlier from the video prior to this one. And that concludes our part 2.5. Thanks for watching and if you have any comments or queries, please add them to the comments below.